Hi, this is Katie. In today's video, I just woke up because I'm going to be doing a little day in the life of being a YouTuber, a little behind the scenes of being a YouTuber. I've done a lot of day in the life videos before, but they've been more day in the life of being a traveler or of living in a car. But this one is specifically going to be taking you guys along throughout my work day and showing you some of the little ins and outs of being a YouTuber, being a content creator. And so if you're interested in seeing some behind the scenes of being a YouTuber, I hope that you're subscribed and I hope that you keep watching. Okay, hi, good morning. I'm currently in Charleston visiting my dad and so I just woke up and one of the most important parts about being a small business owner, an entrepreneur, a content creator, a YouTuber is self-discipline. Because if you're working for yourself, especially if you're working for yourself by yourself, there's no one else pushing you and there's no one else who's gonna get your work done for you. And so self-discipline is just one of the most important parts of being a YouTuber, in my opinion. And there have definitely been times in my life that I was not self-disciplined, even when I was doing YouTube. But that has definitely changed recently. And so today's gonna be a productive day, and I'm really excited to show you everything that I do in a disciplined, productive day. Obviously, this is gonna look different for every YouTuber, for every content creator, and it's even gonna look different depending on the day for me. But on a day like today, I do have a lot to get done, and again, it's all about discipline. And I really was not disciplined at certain times in my my life but right now I am very very disciplined so I have a planner I have some consistency and so one of the things that I am disciplined on now that I just started is not reaching for my phone every morning and so I want to wake up read my Bible have a protein shake and then I'll pick up my camera and show you the rest of my day I can't speak when you're near me all I feel is something way bigger than me how's this angle is it like great? I can't tell. <laughs> anyway, okay, so now it is 9.37, showered. Obviously, I got my protein shake, which is just protein powder and water. <laughs> and then several times a day, I'll go through my little planner. This is the self-care planner. I write in here, like basically everything that I have to do for a day. And so this is it for today. So on here it says record this video, this day in the life video, um, take some pictures for Instagram, write a blog post. If you guys don't know, I just started a website last week um, or two weeks ago maybe, um, and so I do have a blog now. So I'm gonna write today. I have some Instagram stuff to plan because I've also been doing a lot more on Instagram. Respond to comments because it is a Tuesday and so I do have a video that's getting posted today. Some emails, I have a contract to sign. And then I also wanna watch some budget videos. So I think, that one of the things that is so important about being a YouTuber, a content creator, any sort of like entrepreneur in this kind of space is treating it like a job. Because if you treat this like a hobby, say you wanna really grow your Instagram account. If you treat it like a hobby and you only kinda of post whenever you feel like it, you only post what you wanna see, you don't respond to comments, you don't listen to people's feedback, you don't have a rigid schedule, you don't have your brand really figured out, you don't have any of that, and if you just treat it like a hobby, or just kinda, of, you just post sometimes, then the results are going to be hobby-like. But if you treat it like a job where you actually have goals and you study and you learn about it and you figure out your niche and your branding and how often to post and you're really consistent, if you treat it like a job, you are much more likely to have job-like results in terms of growth, making money, stuff like that. And so it's the same with YouTube, you know? If I just posted whenever I wanted to, and if I just posted what I want, the results would kind of show that. Um, and sometimes I have, I used to do that, you know? Sometimes I have, and you can still grow that way sometimes, but that's a little bit more of an exception. And obviously just because you treat it like a job does not mean it's going to grow, but you just give yourself a lot more of a chance for that to happen. Getting more consistent and rigid and really like know your brand more is really important for any kind of entrepreneur at all, um, but especially when we're talking about this like online space. And so one of the things that I think is so important is to continuously learn. And so lately I've been taking a lot of classes, courses, you know, like reading up on stuff and just learning more about how to grow my brand. And if you've been watching my videos for a while, you know that I think one of the best tools in terms of online learning, especially in the creative space, so whether you want advertising, marketing, videography, photography, even productivity and some lifestyle, I think one of the best resources for that is Skillshare. And so Skillshare is an online learning platform and so there are like structured videos online in tons of different areas that you can watch and learn and that could be something that could help you personally 
money, but also a lot of these could really help with your small business, with your business in general. And especially if you're an entrepreneur or if you want to grow your social media, there are tons of videos learning even how to like take pictures for Instagram, learn how to help with your branding, stuff like that. And so one of my favorite classes was called Productivity Masterclass by Ali Abdal. One of the best things that I learned from that class is how motivation is a lie. Motivation is unnecessary. If you have a goal, if you want to get from point A to point B, you do not need to feel like you want to do it. You don't need to get in the mood to do a task. You just need to do it. That's productivity. Then also right now, since I am really working on a lot of my business and you know branding, but then also growing some stuff with my blog and with my Instagram, one of the things that I really wanna learn more about is budgeting and money stuff. And so I'm also watching a class called Modern Money Habits by Justin Bridges. The first thousand of my subscribers who click the link in my description will get a free month of Skillshare so you can try it out and you can help with your creativity. And so I wanna thank Skillshare for sponsoring this video. I love working with them. And so part of, again, what I'm going to be doing today is watching a little bit more of that money class on um, that budgeting class I watched some of it last night I'm gonna watch a little bit more of that today what I also want to say about this video is that for me at least this might be a little bit different for other content creators for me there is no such thing as a typical day in the life there's no such thing. My Monday is gonna look completely different than my Tuesday, and my Tuesday might look exactly the same as my Saturday. I have so many hats that I wear as a content creator, so every day is gonna be really different, um, depending on what my focus is that day, depending on what I need to get done that day, you know? So I'm just showing you what my today is, but maybe I can do similar videos like this every couple months to show you how my days are really, really different. Because I think a lot of people think that being a YouTuber just kinda means you record a video and then you post it and then you're done. But there's actually a lot of writing, there's a lot of idea creating, and then recording, even getting set up to record, you know, really directing your own videos, writing your own videos, and then acting in your own videos. Not, not like fake acting, but you know, being on the camera, and then editing, and then posting, responding to comments, advertising, marketing, writing, you know, blogs, and posting stuff on other social media platforms, and then also working with brands, so going back and forth with that, with emails, and trying out products, and making videos for other people and stuff, and so there's a lot that goes into it, and I love, like, every aspect of it. I think, honestly, I don't know if you guys know this, editing my videos is one of my favorite aspects of it. I really like that process of taking all the raw data and like making it into something finished. I think it's really, really fun. And so, um, yeah, so today I already read you the little list. And of course I'm wearing my New York shirt when I just got to Charleston. <laughs> Um, but okay, so right now I, I am gonna watch a little bit of that money class. And then the priorities for the day are one of my videos is about to go live. I am getting more into the habit of pre-recording my videos and I want to be at least a week, if not two weeks ahead. And so that means come up with the ideas, record, edit, post, do all of that, um, but like a week or two ahead. And so I'm not like rushed and scrambling day of. When you rush everything, of course, some things sometimes are gonna be more last minute, but if you're rushing everything and everything is last minute, you're just setting yourself up for a little bit more failure and a little bit more um, of like, you know, not really fitting into your brand. And so I want to have everything scheduled out a little bit more. And so today's video, already done, is going up in a couple hours. And so when that goes up, I want to just double check everything, make sure that the video works, make sure that it is being monetized and then start answering the comments because that's also something that I've been getting better at because I spent a little bit of my time, you know, um, sometimes not answering as many comments as I would like to. So that is the main priority. And then another one of my main priorities is responding to emails because there are some other sponsorships in the works. And so I have some emails to respond to and some contracts to sign and stuff like that. And then um, doing some Instagram stuff is probably the next priority. And then writing a blog post is probably the last priority. So I'm still gonna get it done today, but it's just the last priority. Okay, so let's see if there's anything on my planner that we can mark off. And so I did respond to the emails that I need to respond to. Um, and I did watch the budgeting video. And I'm recording this day in the life right now. So I'm not going to mark that off until I'm done with it. But I do at some point want to go drive somewhere and take pictures for Instagram. And then respond to comments. I can't do that because my video is not up yet. <laughs> so I'm going to wait for my video to post. P.S. Just to give you guys an idea, so far like where I'm at in this video already, I already have over an hour of footage that I am 
going to look at right now and do kind of like a quick first edit on this first hour of footage because I don't want this video really to be much longer than like a half hour and I'm only halfway done recording. <laughs> so I obviously talked a little bit too much and so I definitely have to go through this process and I wanna cut this part down to about 20 minutes, but literally, as you can see right here, I have an hour of footage already. So I'm just gonna actually do some editing to kind of just check out this footage, see if it's good, see if there's anything I need to re-record and stuff like that. You take the ropes and I'll take advantage. You've never been loved and I'm a romantic. I know you've been hurt, but you could put faith into me. Hey guys, so I went through that footage. I think I showed you that I had over an hour of footage for this video already. And I went through it and I was actually able to cut it down to about 19 minutes because I realized that about 20 or 25 minutes of the footage could just be a whole separate video in and of itself. So I was able to cut it down by removing that and then also just editing a bunch of other stuff. So that's down to 18 or 19 minutes or so as of right now. And then I might even be able to cut it down a little bit more after my second and third edit because when I edit videos, I do generally edit edit them several times to really make it as precise and as consistent as I can. Anyway, so I did that and then I also started responding to some comments because my video did go live at 11.30 and now it's 12.30 so I did respond to some comments on my new video and then I left my dad's house and I drove to a park. A lot of you guys know that I like going to parks and so I drove to a park to show you guys but then also to take some pictures and stuff for Instagram and just to have some like, you know, pretty backgrounds and stuff. And so this is going to be part of my day two. It it's gonna be really, really hard to show you like everything that I do behind the scenes because there are so many little things that I do. And so this video, hopefully I'm showing you some of the things I do behind the scenes, but it's just gonna be nearly impossible to show you every single thing. So, wow, the lighting here is, I don't think it's good, I can't tell. Um, but generally when I'm out taking pictures, I just kind of hold my camera and just like do this, kind of. But I also brought my tripod and my phone attachment. It's very sunny right here, <laughs> but I brought my tripod and my phone attachment just in case I wanna take some on my phone or I can take some on here as well. Um, I don't know where my little remote is and I left my Apple Watch at home or at my dad's house because I think you can control taking pictures on your phone from your Apple Watch, but I left it at back of the house. So what I might do besides taking pictures like this where I just hold it and click is um, potentially I might just put the video camera on and then just kind of walk around and then I'll be able to get a screenshot from a video. Is that as good quality as a proper photo? Probably not. Does it really matter for what I do with my types of photos? No, I think that would matter a lot more if you're doing like real professional photos. Wow, the lighting, the sun. Okay, so anyway, oh also, I heard that it's not good to, from a Skillshare class actually that I was looking at yesterday, it's not good to take pictures outside during the day. It's really best to do it like right when the sun rises or right before the sun sets but it's 12.30, so we're gonna see how we can make it work. First of all, here's where I am. Look, there's a birdie. Is that a pelican? Oh, you probably can't hear me, it's probably so loud, sorry. The wind is crazy. I'm so sorry if the wind is really loud, but anyway, this is where I am. Look how beautiful this is. Hey birdie, do you wanna be in some pictures? Oh, there's two of them, are you guys friends? tripod now but I don't think that lighting is good is it and then essentially like I would just probably do this and then just pose a bunch of times <laughs> but I can't tell if I think that lighting is like really bad there's just a picnic bench right here that I was propping you guys on like is that lighting better About being a YouTuber, I don't know if you can hear me, um, is that you can't be embarrassed. <laughs> can't be embarrassed at anything. There's really no people around, but there are cars, so I'm sure there's people somewhere. Um, but you can't be embarrassed <laughs> about like doing this out in public. <laughs> okay, I do still get a little embarrassed. <laughs> Obviously, I could also use the timer on my phone and my camera um, to take pictures. I could do that as well. I think that that's kind of it for now. I took a couple um, little videos on my phone as well and some on here too. 
that I hope I can turn into pictures. I also took some actual pictures, but I also hope that I can get some screenshots from the videos. Again, I know it's not gonna be the best quality, but I've done that before and it's come out pretty good. So hopefully the footage that I got was pretty good. So my little like Instagram picture time is done and it's only been like 10 minutes or so. There, oh, let's walk over here actually. Look how pretty this is. Very pretty, very, very pretty. Okay. So now it's almost one, it's 12.45. So I've been here for like 10 or 15 minutes. So now I'm gonna go back to my dad's house and eat lunch. I'm very, very hungry. I'm gonna make a little sandwich. And then what was next? Oh, I guess I'm gonna um, go through all this footage to see if there is any good like still photos and then save those um, and then send them to my phone because I do most of my editing on my phone. But this, since it's on my camera, will go to my computer. So if I see any good like still shots, I will screenshot them and then send them to my phone to edit. And then I will save them in like a little folder on my phone for when I wanna upload them on Instagram. The lighting is drastically changing. Um, anyway, but, so I'm gonna do that, but I'm gonna eat first, cause I'm hungry. So I'm gonna go make a sandwich. I promise that I'll love you slow I'll never be the first to Hey guys, it's a little bit later. I think it's almost like 3.30. And so when I got back here, I made a sandwich, a gluten-free sandwich. And then I went through all the footage that I took at the park to see if there were any pictures that I could use. And there actually were a couple that I ended up liking, but I definitely do need to start going at a different time of the day because the shadows were really, really bad. And the sun was very bright, which just makes photography and videography a little bit harder. But next time I will bring my Apple watch so I can use that as a little clicker. And then I'll start using the timer on my camera as well. But I think it came out pretty good. So I'm okay with the pictures that I took today. I really only needed one or two anyway for my Instagram. So I think that that worked out. And then I also just kept editing. And so this is what I do sometimes when I vlog. So when I say when I vlog, I mean differently than just a sit down video. Like if I'm doing a video where I'm talking about the 10 things that you need on your first road trip, that's more of a sit down video. And those generally have, you know, less footage and they're generally a little bit quicker to edit. It only might take three, four hours to edit or so. But when I'm talking about vlogging, I mean like the video that I'm doing today where there is tons of footage and there's also a ton of different clips. And so adding them together and editing all of that that together just takes a lot longer like sometimes like double the amount of time that a sit-down video might take but again editing is my favorite part so I'm okay with that but so sometimes when I do vlogs like this I will edit them throughout the day like I'll record some and then I'll go to my computer put that footage in and then I'll just kind of almost continuously edit sometimes not all the time sometimes I'll still wait until the whole vlog is recorded then I'll edit it but sometimes like I'm doing today I'm kind of editing as I go and so that's a lot of what I've been doing and so I even was able to cut down that first hour remember like a little bit earlier I showed you that I had an hour of footage this morning I was able to cut that down to about 10 minutes because I cut some out to make it into a separate video and then I cut some out because it was just a little unnecessary and a little repetitive and I'm like eh, that's not necessary in this video and so I was able to cut a lot out I think I cut that hour down to about 10 minutes <laughs> so but that's what happens sometimes with raw footage you know again if you're a photographer you might take a hundred pictures but end up only using three you know that's just kind of sometimes what happens with with this process and so again just some behind the scenes stuff that I wanted to tell you so sometimes I'll have a lot of footage and cut it down a lot shorter and so yeah so I've just been doing a lot of editing and again I think I said it's about 3 30 and so right now let's see what else is in my planner that I can mark off okay so I did watch these budget videos I'm recording this still, so I'll mark that off when I'm done. I did take pictures and I did respond to comments. Obviously that's kind of like an ongoing thing, but I did definitely do a bunch today. I think I showed you one, but like I kept going after that. And so right now I'm gonna sign this contract really quick. This is with a brand. Uh, generally when you work with brands, they have you sign a contract. And so I just need to read that, obviously. You should definitely read your contracts before you sign them. So I'm gonna read that, sign that. That is for an upcoming sponsored video. And then I'm going Going to start planning my Instagram a little bit. So I did take the pictures. I did go through, take the screenshots and edit a few of them, but 
I just kind of want to plan out my Instagram a little bit for the rest of the week in terms of posts and reels and like what the topics are going to be and what the captions are going to be. Also, I'm left-handed. Did you guys know that? And everyone always says that I hold a pen weird. This is just how I hold a pen. I don't know, but everyone says I hold it weird. But anyway, okay, so then I'll plan out my Instagram. That should take maybe 15 minutes or 20 minutes and uh, sign the contract, which again, reading it and stuff, maybe will take another 10 minutes or so. So at about four o'clock, really the only stuff that I have to do is write out my blog post. And then writing a blog post, once I come up with the idea and come up with like the little outline, actually writing it would take me less than an hour. Sometimes it'll even take me like 15 minutes. It depends what the topic is. So that'll be done around five-ish and then there's also some other projects that I'm working on that I'm not gonna tell you details yet. I'll tell you soon about one of them. I'm working on two projects. I'll tell you soon about one of them in the next like month or so, but I do have two big projects that I'm working on. And so I'll probably spend a few hours working on one of those projects. Both of them also require a lot of writing. And so I'll probably write this blog post and then keep writing for a few hours. And then I will eat dinner. I've been eating dinner really late lately, which I don't like doing. I like eating dinner a little bit earlier, but I've been eating lunch late. <laughs> so I've just been eating lunch late and then dinner late. So I gotta change that routine a little bit. And then after that, honestly, lately, I've kind of been working until I'm ready for bed. You know, so a lot of the days lately, I've been working from about 9 a.m. till about 10 or 11 p.m., which I like, it's my choice. It is my choice to work that much and I really, really like doing it. But I just have a bunch of projects going on. You know, I just launched my blog and I created that all myself and so that takes time. And then doing all the editing and the writing and content planning and all that kind of stuff. There's just a lot to do when you're a content creator and I love all of it, it's so much fun. But that means that there have been a lot of long days, which I like, I like working and I like staying busy with productive things. So I enjoy it. But I just wanna tell you guys, since this is like a behind the scenes video, of course there might be some some days where you're only working a few hours or there are some days that you can definitely plan to take off that's one of the beauties of working for yourself but there are definitely going to be some days that you're working 12 14 hours it's almost like a joke of entrepreneurs that it's like oh I quit my nine to five so that I could work 14 hours a day you know but it's stuff that you love doing and so it's like a completely different thing you know um, but anyway okay so I'm going to do the contract and go through the pictures plan some Instagram stuff and then I will let you guys know when I start writing. Okay, so I am able to mark off plan IG and dealing with the contract. I actually had to email them about something. And so really the only thing I have left to do today is record this, which again, I'm basically done. So let's just mark that off. So I'm basically done. And then I'm about to write my blog post. And so I just planned all my Instagram stuff. Um, and so I actually just wrote it on this side. I'm kind of thinking that maybe, this is the gratitude side of this journal, but with how this is, I might use this side for like the things I have to do that day. And then I might use this side for some of my like content planning. So at least for now, that's what I'm gonna do. So I just wrote down some of my Instagram ideas. By the time you see this video, all of these will be already posted. And so I feel comfortable showing you. And so for tomorrow, Wednesday, I'm going to post on Instagram about how I've been sick because you guys already know that I've been sick, but I didn't really explain it um, on an Instagram post yet. And so I want to do that for tomorrow. And then I'll probably spend a little bit of time tonight writing out the captions for some of these things as well. And then on Thursday, I'm actually gonna post two things. I'm gonna post a reel about saving money on a road trip. And then I'm also gonna post a picture. I wrote shadow pictures because the pictures like have shadows in them. And so that's kind of how I'm like remembering which things to post on what days. And I already have this reel edited and I have these pictures edited as well, but I wanna use those pictures to give a little teaser caption because I'm not telling anyone that I'm in Charleston until Friday the 5th. And I think you're watching this the next Tuesday. So you guys already know, but I'm posting a video on my YouTube on Friday explaining that I'm in Charleston. And so I also wanna post a corresponding reel saying I left New York and I'm in Charleston, but if you want more information, go watch my video. So. Thursday afternoon or evening, I wanna post a picture and I wanna say, hey, I left New York, where do you think I went? Where are you guessing that I went? And then on Friday, I will explain that I went to Charleston 
And then on Saturday, I am going to post pictures that I took, the pictures that I took today in the park, I'm gonna post those pictures. And then the caption of this picture is going to be why I didn't like living in Charleston because two years ago, I did live in Charleston. I had my own place. Um, and so if you want more answers on that, just go to my Instagram because I want to have most of my captions be, you know, little stories or tiny little blogs or little explanations of things. For example, like my caption on this Instagram reel of saving money is going to be the list of ways to save money. Some of my Instagram captions are still going to be, you know, lighthearted and short and silly, but I do want to give some longer in-depth ones. So anyway, Instagram is already set to go. And then I'm going to close this, but with one hand, that was difficult. Okay. <laughs> and then I did do a little bit of editing. And so now I'm going to start writing that blog that I'm going to be posting on Thursday, but I want to write it today. And then I'm going to do some more writing as well. And then I also might write up some of these captions too. You make me feel something different. You are the piece I've been missing all my life. Do you feel the same? I can't sleep. Thinking about you. All I feel. Is you make it harder to breathe You take the ropes and I'll take advantage You've never been loved and I'm a romantic Hey guys, it's after 10 p.m. I think it's like 10 15 and I am exhausted. <laughs> I want to go lie down um, and so I think I'm done working for the day but so the last time I recorded I think I said that I was going to go right, I think. And then I think I showed you a little bit that I wrote one blog post and I wrote one caption for my Instagram. And then after that, I was editing. I really spent the last few hours editing this video, actually. Um, and I edited most of that, except for this part, obviously, because I'm not even done filming it yet. But I edited that video and I've gone through it a couple times. So I spent a few hours on that. I still probably have one or two more edits to go, meaning like I'm probably gonna rewatch it one or two more times to make sure that I didn't forget anything, you know, to add a couple little things here and there, maybe some music and things like that. And then I just spent the last half hour or so doing doing some more writing on another project that I'm working on. And so now it's a little after 10 and I'm really, really tired. And so I think I'm gonna stop here. Um, so I had about a 13 hour day, I would say, which again, like I said earlier, is just sometimes what happens. And I really enjoy when I have these longer days because I just really enjoy doing most of the work that I do. And so obviously I took a couple breaks to eat and stuff, um, but besides that, I really did work a lot today. I got a lot done. I had a good day today. I had a productive day today. And I really hope that you guys enjoyed hanging out with me and just kind of following along a little bit on one of my busier days and obviously I couldn't show you everything because some things were confidential some things I just really couldn't record but I hope that you enjoyed the things that you could see and then I hope that you enjoyed hearing about some of the other things that you couldn't see but yeah I think that's really it I think I explained kind of everything that I did today, I think. But I might do these videos every once in a while because again, I don't have a typical day. And so every day that I work is different. And so maybe I'll do these videos every couple months just to kind of show you another day in the life of a YouTuber or at least my <laughs> YouTube channel. Yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed. I really hope that you're subscribed as well for mostly travel and lifestyle content and then sometimes business and productive content as well. And yeah, thanks again. And I hope that you have a wonderful day. I love you. Jesus loves you and I'll talk to you later. Bye.